October 5th, 2022. Golden Retriever DM me, make a verified bot, or you can't do that. And that's when it hit me. I'm running out of video ideas. So I recently got back into the sport of 20 millionaires whining at each other whilst driving in circles. Yep, Formula 1. And so that's what my ball will be based on. And let's get started. Now that I've done those three commands, yes, it took over an hour to get those three commands. I'm gonna go back, fix some errors because Visual Studio Code is being really annoying. Alright, I finally got everything working and now I have three commands that enable me to turn on and off parts of my bot separately and I even added slash commands autocomplete to it. And now let's move on to the API integration. But for those of you that don't know what it is, it, well, according to Healthcare Service Corporation, it says it's used to build applications that enable HCSC customers to easily access their claims and encounter information. Wait, no, that, that can't be right. Okay, okay. It's a link for something that lets one computer scream at another computer until it gets what it wants, also known as an API. So let's start into it. keyboard bashing and no less than three meltdowns, here we are. This is the command. It pretty much just gives you base information about the driver and it's got a couple autocomplete features built into it. This works for any driver on the grid, but it does look a bit bland. And that's where I'm going to get help from ChatGPT. I started off by giving it a bit of background information about the bot so that it can further help me decide on what to do. Afterwards, I just asked for a couple ideas and it gave me an entire essay. So here is the summarization. Think about including pictures of the drivers or their vehicles along with race by race statistics and other fascinating information. But there's one slight problem. I don't have an API for that. But you know what they say. If you don't know how to do something, bang your head against the wall until you do. Or you can just search it up. Yeah, well, that too. So that's exactly what I did. And after searching it up, I got nothing. Yep, turns out a lot of it is just paid. A little longer than a few minutes later. Alright boys, I finally found one. Only thing is that this is 100 megabytes of pure JSON. Honestly, just end the torture and kill me right now. That was a joke, YouTube, please don't demonetize me for saying that. Anyways, by now you should know what's coming up, so let's do it. Yep, you guessed it, we're making hot chocolate. And a bunch of my video got corrupted, so we're just gonna be finishing this off. But first, I just want to say thank you for 3,000 subscribers. The support lately has been amazing. And here are a couple people from my Discord server that just want to say hi. Uh, if you want to be included in the next video, just join my Discord, link down below in the description. And that's pretty much it. Back to the video. Whilst you guys were watching me make insanely good hot chocolate, I was dying parsing 20,000 lines of JSON code. And so out of pure saltiness, I'm going to explain it all to you. Alright, so what this does is it basically takes on the JSON file and converts it into a variable so that I can use it throughout my file. But we're not done there. This is the command that basically takes all of that data that I mentioned before and makes it into an embed format that's very easy to use. Then we have an oncomplete function that makes it very easy to find the driver that you're looking for. Lastly, it's the buttons, which is a lot less complicated than it seems. Basically, we're just instantiating all of the variables into our little class here, and we have two buttons that let us switch between two buttons. Alright, alright, fine. We'll move on. So now this is how the command is changed, where it gives more stats when you click the stats button, and you can just switch between the two. I also made everything faster by getting all the data when the bot first starts, but it has led to some errors. Anyways, that sounds like a problem for future Glow, so hit subscribe, and if you like this video, drop a comment. Anyways, till next time, Glow Stick Out. See ya!